Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm super excited. I'm going to be doing my boxy charm for the month of October. I'll list every single one of the products that I got in my box down below, as well as the price and the overall value of the box. However, I'm not going to sit here and talk about every single one of the products um, because I wasn't able to use every single one of my products that I got in my box this month to create this tutorial for you guys, but more or less, I used every makeup product that I got to create this look, if that makes any sense. Please forgive me if my energy seems a little bit low on this video, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit lousy, and that explains why I didn't upload last week, I'm so, 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 so sorry. Um, I've been feeling like absolute caca. Still kind of getting over everything, so please excuse me if my energy seems a little low. I'm not mad, I'm not angry, I'm just a little bit under the weather. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see my boxy charm for this one, then please keep watching. I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids with some concealer. I don't have any makeup on right now, but I'm going to go straight into the eyes. Everybody and their mama is all up on this concealer because it is the bomb. The eyes today, I'm going to grab the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. I used this for a hot minute for a point there, and I actually forgot about it, so I figured I would use it today. Taking the color Nude, I'm just going to go ahead and put that all up in my crease and kind of just fluff it all over my general eye area just to get a nice powder on there before I go in with any more colors. Grab the shade Cashmere Bunny. From the palette it's a little bit deeper than the shade nudie that I've just applied I'm going to focus this on my crease mainly my upper crease not too much on the actual crease line but a little bit above it and I'm just applying this in windshield wiper motions Next, I'm just going to grab the shade Push Up, which is a beautiful, almost like deep champagne, rosy, bronzy kind of color. I'm taking this on a flat tapered brush, and then I'm going to spray some Fix Plus to make it a little bit more intense. And this one is going to go directly on my lid. Now I'm just going to blend out the edges. I'm going to grab the shade Sexpresso here and I'm just going to apply that to my outer V. So my camera actually died for a second, so I took advantage of that time there, and I went ahead and I filled in my brows. And I also applied my false lashes, in which I'm using the Ardell Glamour Wispies. I love these lashes. They're super flirty, but at the same time, they also give you some visibility as to what is going on on your eyes. I feel like some lashes really just take away from your whole makeup look if they're too, too heavy. So I love these because they're like, they're like the perfect in-between. So while the glue dries on that, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my face makeup. I already went ahead and I primed my face with some Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. And now I'm just going to go in with some foundation really quickly. Today I'm going to be using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. I am in the shade 8 Golden Neutral. I'm just going to apply it like so. And just blend everything out. I'm using this crown brush brush. I don't know what the name for this thing, the face brush. I really don't know what these are even called. Um, but I'm just going to use this. I am not gonna lie, I've been using this a lot this past month over my beauty blender. <gasps> I didn't think I would ever say that, but yes, I've been using this a lot. I really like it. It's very soft and it really just does a great job at blending my foundation. I usually just take a little bit of fix plus and spray it directly onto the brush just to kind of wet it a little bit and um, give it some slip for the foundation. But yeah, like I said, I've been really loving it. I think it just does a great job at covering my blemishes and it also um, doesn't sheer out the foundation too much. Although I do love the beauty blender and just beauty sponges in general, I do feel like it does really sheer out your foundation and it also does rob a lot of product. So. It did come in BoxyCharm within the past couple months, and I really, really love it. I'm just going to use some Tarte Shape Tape, just a tiny little bit. 
I've just been really focusing it like right underneath my eye and bringing it around like this and um, not going too crazy with the concealer. To set the concealer, I'm just going to grab some of this Wet n Wild pressed powder. And to bronze, I'm grabbing a little bit of NYC Sunny Bronzer. I'm skipping contour today. I'm just going to bring a little bit more warmth to my face. I feel like I'm looking a mighty orange on camera, but I swear I don't look like an Oompa Loompa in real life. My lights are just probably really playing me right now. I'm going to go ahead and finish my under eye area. Just put a little bit of product down there and just put some lower lash mascara. Before I go ahead and finish with the rest of my face... So now that I finished the lower lash line area, I'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face. I'm going to use this Becca Pressed Shimmering Perfector Highlighter. This is in the shade Prosecco Pop. Prosecco Pop, no. This is in the shade Prosecco Pop. This is the collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. It is a really pretty golden um, champagne-y kind of shade. It's really beautiful. I actually already have this. But I have mine in the... Um, Champagne glow palette. I don't have it individual like this. I have used it plenty of times in the past um, So this is not my first time using it, but I'm just going to apply it on my cheekbones Apply some down the bridge of my nose Last thing I'm going to do is just the lips. I also got these two products in my boxy charm this month I'm going to be using the Jante blue brown sugar lip liner. I don't know this brand. I've never heard of it actually um I'm going to go ahead and apply this too. I hope it's a good combination with the liquid lipstick. Oh, and I'm going to use the Tartist by Tarte Lip Paint. And mine is in the shade Home Slice. This color is really pretty actually. It's definitely a really pretty like salmon-y type of shade. And I actually think it would look gorgeous like in the spring summertime. Um, not so much like of a fall color for me particularly. Um, I like to stick to my mauves and my browns um, around the fall time. But this is a really pretty summer, spring type of shade. So you guys, that's pretty much going to complete this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Those help me out a lot. It lets me know that you are enjoying my content and that you want to see more videos from little old me. Please don't forget to follow me on my social media to keep updated with me. I usually post a lot on there when I'm not on here and if I'm not on here I usually update you on there as to why I'm not on here <laughs> um, I have Instagram and Twitter my Instagram is Elise.Piguero and my Twitter is just Elise Piguero I will have it listed down below so please check it out if you're interested no pressure at all follow whoever you want but if you want to follow me that'd be okay with me <laughs> but yeah anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye